Ciao, friends, and welcome to Simple Italian Cooking. My name is Liz, and I've got such a great, easy, and delicious, uh, I don't want to call it a side dish, definitely for antipasto, and uh, it's using mushrooms, and it's absolutely delicious and uh, very, very easy to make. So as I said, it can be used as a side dish or as antipasto, okay? And the way that I'm going to teach it to you is uh, we're just going to whip right through it, and then I'm going to show you some modifications you can have, but it's really just such a simple and easy, easy, easy recipe. So what ingredients do you need? Well, obviously, you're going to need some mushrooms, and we're just using but button mushrooms, so very, very simple, easy to find at the grocery store. Um, we're going to have some, uh, just a dash of lemon, and you can actually omit this. So we have some lemon juice here. Olive oil, um, you want to use extra virgin olive oil. And then we have some cracked black pepper, two garlic cloves, and some uh, breadcrumbs. What you're going to need is some parchment paper, okay? Because that's how we're going to cook it in the oven. My oven is now ready. Uh, and so what first thing we're going to do is you want to lightly wipe off the mushrooms with some with a damp cloth, paper towel, and then uh, we don't we want to make sure that they're not soggy. Uh, and then you just want to cut off the hard tip and just go ahead and put that aside. We're going to toss that and we're going to go ahead and just slice the mushrooms into thin slices. But these will really cook down really fast with um, how we're doing this. And this is kind of a fun recipe that you can use for dinner parties. Uh, you could use it for yourself. You can serve it hot or you can serve it cold. So very, very cool. And I'm just so excited to show you this recipe. And this is a Southern Italian recipe. Very simple, but it's got a lot of flavor to it. And I'm using about a pound of, um, of mushrooms here. And this should serve about six people for a small, uh, for a small uh, setting, okay, for a small uh, serving size. Because it's really just to be, uh, you know, served as mainly as an antipasto, but I think you can use it as a, a side dish. And what you're gonna do is just simply put uh, all the mushroom slices into a, a large bowl, but it's not a hearty recipe. This isn't a recipe that you can turn into like a main meal. Okay, so next we have the, we have the mushrooms, that's done. Now we're gonna use two cloves of garlic. So yeah, this is gonna have a nice strong garlic flavor and you wanna cut the garlic so that they're really tiny. Um, I wouldn't mince it per se, but I would definitely um, cut it into little diced pieces. So just really small. Okay, sweet. That's done. So add that into your bowl. So for the lemon juice is optional. Uh, I am just adding a dash of lemon. So I'm probably I have a little bit much here, but I'm going to add it anyway. It's about probably about a teaspoon, two teaspoons, but I do like a little bit of that springiness. And I just remembered there is another ingredient I forgot to mention, and it's right here. It's fresh parsley. This is Italian parsley, so if you can get that Italian parsley, that's really what you want. Uh, not all stores will carry it, but you're going to want about a quarter of a cup of freshly chopped uh, uh, parsley. That's the black pepper that I'm adding, cracked black pepper. That's about an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, we're gonna add in about a quarter of a cup of uh, breadcrumbs. Uh, we have about a quarter of a cup of uh, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, so we're just gonna go ahead and add that. Okay, so I'm gonna take a bunch of parsley. Now, here's a tip. Um, you really wanna make sure that you are just um, using the leaves. Some recipes, depending on how long it's gonna cook, um, you can get away with using some of the stems and chopping it up real fine. This recipe isn't one of those recipes. You really just want the leaves. So in this case, this is kind of fun. Uh, this is just a little gadget. It's a herb leaf stripper, and it comes in handy for uh, stuff like this. So you just pull it through, and the stem comes out, and you're left with just the leaves. So how cool is that? Kind of nice. Um, do you need it? No, but really love gadgets. And what we're looking for here is about four tablespoons. So um, a little over um, a quarter of a cup, so maybe a third of a cup. So uh, I think I'll be okay with that. But again, you know, you can be kind of loosey-goosey with it and, and you're not gonna 
it's not going to destroy anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this up. I think that this type of recipe uh, for an antipasto would be really good for a holiday dinner uh, where maybe you have like beef or roast. I think that would taste really good. And you want to make sure that you preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit because these are only gonna bake in the oven for about seven to eight minutes. Okay, so just go ahead and add it to the bowl. I mean, this really couldn't get any easier. And next what we're gonna wanna do is mix everything together. Um, so I'm actually, to make it very easy, I'm putting on some handy dandy food grade gloves. Just so much easier than trying to wash everything off with all the olive oil. Okay, so I can tell that the, uh, all the mushrooms are pretty coated with the olive oil. And you're gonna get some parchment paper. Now, there's two ways that you can do this. And I was really undecided for this video which way to do it. Um, so I'm actually going to do it two ways. Um, so if you're going to be serving, so this is really cool. Um, if you're going to be serving it uh, individually, as individual portions, what you can do is create a little parchment package for each person to, so that when they sit down, at their dinner table. They have their own little steamed mushrooms right in their own little parchment package. And then they open it up and they can eat it. And it's just kind of a fun, cool experience. If you want to serve it not like that and not go through the hassle, especially if you're going to have like a zillion people and you don't want to take the time, you can do a larger, a larger uh, package. And so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to do both. So I'm going to show you how to do the small package. So for the small package, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do about 12 inches by 12 inches, okay, approximate, okay, and you're just going to fold it in half here, and before you put anything on, what you got to do is you've got to rub some olive oil on here, just a really light coating. So I'm going to take some of the olive oil that I had left over, okay, and I'm just going to I'll make sure that you can see this here, brush it all over. Perfect. Love it. And then what you're going to do, and if you're doing this for a bunch of people, you'd want to divide out all the sections evenly, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to do one here because I want to show you how it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and put just a small portion like that. Okay. And then here is what I really want to show you. I'm going to fold it over like this. Okay, so you're going to start from one corner right here. Okay, hold it up, a little triangle, and then we're going to do that all the way around so it's going to create a nice little package. Well, you want to crimp it. So you fold it over, and you want to keep folding it over until it gets a nice semicircle shape. Now, I also tried this recipe doing it like a pouch. So I thought a pouch would be really cool. The problem with that was that the thing stuck up so high on top that it was, I was afraid it was too close to the top of the oven. So, okay. Hopefully yours will look a little better than mine. That's all right. And you're going to put it on a cookie sheet. And then what you're going to do is if you have a bunch of them, you just put them all on the cookie sheet and then you bake them. But I'm going to do one small one because I want to show you how it looks like. And then I'm going to do um, a larger one. So we can just do a whole bunch. So I'm going to put this into my little um, oven over there, my Breville uh, Smart Oven, and I'm going to cook it at 375 for up to eight minutes. And friends, I just want to remind you too that if you love Italian food and cool Italian recipes that are really easy to make and taste delicious, I really encourage you to do a few things. One, 
uh, is to sign up for our recipe newsletter because we are sending out this type of information all the time every week. It's so awesome. I know you'll love it. But also, if you would do me a favor and hit like on the uh, video that you're watching right now because that really helps YouTube know that uh, this is a good recipe, this is a good video, and they'll share it out to other people. It really helps support the channel. And of course, subscribe and click that bell notification so that when we do more videos, you get notified and you walk away with another delicious. So it's been eight minutes and I took them out of the oven. They, these will probably be much puffier than what they are now. So they will, once the steam starts getting let out, as you jostle them around, it's gonna go down. Um, that's fine. Just again, be very, very careful. So for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and what we wanna do is just open it up. And this is what our pile of mushrooms went down to. So you can see why it makes a really good, uh, just a little antipasto because it's just a very small amount. So it's very nice when serving it individually as portions because people can just go ahead and eat this right on their plate. Their plate probably be a little larger, but that way they don't have to worry. It's kind of messy because it's oily. If you have to transfer it onto their plate, if they have to use it, they're probably gonna get their hands a little oily. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a taste test here. Mmm, mmm. I love that. It's got a great flavor. And I can just barely taste the lemon. I probably could have added a little bit more. But that is really, really good. And it just makes such a great little cool creative dish. Now, what I want to do is I want to open up this one and see. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and use the scissors here. And you know what's kind of cool is that some of the pieces, and uh, let me see if I can hold this up for you. Some of the mushrooms, some of the thicker ones that I chopped, I like the fact that some are really thin and some were a little bit thicker because it just adds a little bit more to it. Mm. You know what I love? I love the, mush uh, the uh, breadcrumbs in it. All right, so let's go ahead and try this one. Mm-hmm. Just as good as the individual one. Maybe maybe could have gone a minute more if you really want to match it exactly. Just simply because it's bigger and thicker. This is a really awesome little side dish that you can serve that's fun and very creative. And I really, really love it. I really hope that you try this recipe and let me know how you serve it. Did you do something different? Did you put it in little bowls or did you just make it like this and put it in a big bowl and use it as a serving bowl and just serve it out to people? Um, did you make any modifications to this? If you watched it and do the recipe, come back and let me know because I'd love to hear about it. Well, I want to thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you uh, try this recipe. I hope that you enjoy this recipe. And remember to subscribe, like, join our newsletter. We'd love to have you join us. Well, thank you so much for watching. Grazie e ciao.